Hi everyone and welcome to my review of the Coen Brothers Raised in Arizona um, in 1987. Um, now this is their second feature film I believe. Um, I've not seen Blood Simple yet. Um, but yes, it's, um, it's one I was looking forward to massively. Um, you know, the potential of it. Um, because, you know, the Coen Brothers, uh, previous to this, uh, prior to this I'd seen maybe about five all the way through. And then I, I saw um, quite most of A Serious Man. I was a bit split on that film. You know, I, I did like it overall, I think, but yeah, and the man who wasn't there is one of them that I was I was also a bit split on. I saw that all the way through, and then the other four, you know, there's some other ones you know I, I loved, and then there was also um, one of them that I did not like really at all. Um, yeah, no, maybe actually I've seen six six Phone Brothers films before this, uh, but yes, one of them that is acclaimed I absolutely hated, <coughs> and you know I just I just yeah I despised. I won't say which one that is, but the Coen Brothers. You, uh, you know, based on that, I would almost say hit and miss, but not really because they've had a lot more, you know, a lot more um, hits than misses, and it's hard. It's, it's it's kind of unfair to say that, but what I'm trying to say is that sometimes, you know, a very particular tone that they have sometimes in their films, very particular humour and stuff, and yeah, it doesn't work sometimes. I would say, and um, you know, but you know, they are some of the best screenwriters of all time for me, and. Um, They've directed some absolute masterpieces, um, Big Lebowski included, you know. And um, a lot of people would, would, not too many would put, put this in the top five, but, you know, I have seen it crop up, you know, near the top at times, um, you know, occasionally on Coen Brothers films. Um, but I looked forward to the, you know, I heard what it was about. You know, I heard it was like a, a comedy romance kind of, <clears throat> you know, um, film. And obviously I knew who was in it, Nicolas Cage. Holly Hunter, John Goodman, all these, you know, all these actors, actresses. So I was looking forward to the potential, but I, I did have doubts, you know, I, I did think it could play into the way they go a bit too overboard, which they sometimes do. Um, and of course, there's loads that I've not seen that are meant to do that. Hail Caesar, that doesn't look too promising. Um, as well, the Lady Killers uh, remake, um, stuff like that. But yes, um, you know, I sat down and watched it tonight. Uh, very short film, it's not long. Um, and... It really surprised me, you know, it, it took me, it blew my mind really, um, I absolutely loved it, um, really, really just, uh, I absolutely loved every single moment of it, and uh, it's such a great, you know, it's such a great experience, and it's great that I, another Coen Brothers film that I think is a masterpiece, actually, um, <clears throat> I think this is one of the most um, underrated Coen Brothers films, you know, it's, it's got acclaim, but you know. There are those that don't really think too much of it, you know, Roger Ebert would give it a 1.5, but, you know, um, and yeah, it's just, it's not that acclaimed on IMDb, you know, like a lot of the Coen Brothers films, um, but yes, it's, um, this film, you know, to describe it, it, it's not really, like some of their films, you know, it's like the Big Lebowski's, um, it kind of doesn't really fit into a particular genre, or, you know, a few, you know kind of hybrid genre film, it's, you know, about eight or nine different genres, you know, it, it can be considered... <clears throat> comedy, drama, romance, a thriller, you know, black comedy as well, you know, um, a western at times, definitely towards the end, um, a kind of screwball comedy as well at times, and uh, just just many different things, you know, and just, it, it, it's a very unique film, you know, and, um, you know, straight away though, I was just drawn in, you know, it's, it's a very, very particular tone and, and style, and, you know, the narration uh, just, drew me in and um, you know the opening sort of <clears throat> kind of you could say prologue before the actual credits arrive you could say um, are just stunning you know it's basically Holly Hunter and Nicolas Cage falling in love you know uh, she plays Ed and uh, then he's High the character of High yes I said it's quite funny um, and yeah that she was a she was a um, police officer um, and he was kind of a convict that was going in and out of prison, um, and you kind of see <clears throat> in a really, really great way, you know, it shows the repetition of him going back in there and, and stuff, and the, the, the formula of just, you know, it's just great, that, that sort of montage. Um, and I was noticing as well the soundtrack. It's kind of a rendition of, of Beethoven's um, ninth in this film, and it's great. And it just had a really, really, just uh, pleasing, very pleasing visuals, um, just, just a wonderful um, kind of, uh, charm to it and um, you know it was you know setting things up really just masterfully you know I was absolutely definitely immersed in this film 
<clears throat> just already, you know, very touching film. Uh, and, you know, the characters in this film are just stunning. Um, you know, Nicolas Cage, I think this is definitely his best performance as well, you know. Um, it's not quite my favourite film that he's in, but I would definitely say it's his best performance. And, you know, there's quite a few Nick Cage films that I do like. Um, I wouldn't consider, you know, masterpieces or anything, uh, Face Off being one of them. I think that's a thoroughly enjoyable film um, and, you know, quite well crafted as well. I think he was, you know, enjoyable in that, but, you know, most of the time he's not, he's not an actor that, that's great usually, certainly nowadays, but he's been in some, he's been great in some things. Uh, and this is definitely, hands down, his best performance <coughs> and um, his most compelling character. You know, the, the way that the characters are written as well, flawless. Um, but yeah, just the way it was, we're just kind of, I grew to the characters instantly, you know, I, I didn't, the main two characters especially, you know, Holly Hunter is great in this film as well, um, you know, the portrayal of Ed, and um, that central romance, as I said, you know, it's just absolutely stunning, it's one of my favourites, um, kind of, um, you know, modern cinema really, um, although you could say now that it's becoming more, more closer to actually classic cinema, um, depends how you look at it, but yes, it's it just, um, you know, Nicolas Cage is such a great character in this film. And, uh, you know, they're, they're very, very, um, the characters are of depth, you know, but, you know, it is, of course, a comedy as well. And it's just, you know, perfect mix of drama and comedy, really, um, and fantasy and reality. But, you know, the characters in particular are stunning. You know, they keep me, they kept me compelled. And, um, you know, I, I, the Coen Brothers film that I did hate, which I won't name, is just awful characters, I feel. Um, that was one of the reasons why, <clears throat> you know, I wasn't compelled by it. One of the many reasons, but yeah, not only has this got great characters, it's also got a really, really intriguing and unique plot. Um, briefly, I would say that it's just, you know, Holly Hunter, you know, you learn very early on that she can't conceive. And, you know, Nicolas Cage and her, they, they go and um, they hear about this, this guy uh, on the news and everything. And there's five kids, basically, it's five babies that he's got, um, you know. The character of uh, Nathan Arizona, um, and and there's five different kids, and in a really really funny sequence, uh, intense sequence as well. That's another thing they they mix comedy and ten uh, thriller aspects perfectly. <clears throat> but in that sequence, uh, Nicholas Cage basically takes one of the kids, and most of the rest of the film is them looking after this kid, and uh, you know, kind of uh, trying to actually have a family. You know, even though in reality, you know, it is someone else's kid, and you know. But it's kind of their own sort of fantasy that they're playing out. <clears throat> and that works perfectly with the tone of the film, actually. You know, it is, this is really, it is a fantasy film at times, throughout most of it, actually. But it's always got grounded, um, you know, characters at time, uh, for the most part, and themes that are very, very relatable, um, and just thoroughly human film. This is really human, actually, and um, I was really surprised, actually, by how human it was. You know, great comedies, you know, can always also, you know, mix drama well. And if they do it great, you know, mix, you know, underplay it, it can, it can make for a very, very human experience. Um, you know, but one that catches, doesn't, you know, doesn't, doesn't quite reveal itself at first, but really catches up to you in that sense. And then the humanism come through, comes through. And, and this is definitely a film like that. You know, it, it's just a very, very emotional film, actually, especially the, the final act is, well, I'll get to that, but, um, you know, um, yeah, the plot is very, very interesting, um, and it's just great storytelling, you know, um, stunning script um, and visual storytelling as well, you know, the way the Coen brothers <coughs> kind of direct this film, wonderful, you know, there's a lot of crash zooms and stuff, um, and, you know, very, yes, um, over the top things, but it's always controlled, you know, the, the camera movements and everything, it never feels out of tone or out of place, you know, it's always, you know, this... The tone of this film in some moments, very, very close to stepping over that line. Um, and, you know, just a bit more at times, you know, it could have gone a bit too far. But luckily, it was very, very, you know, precise in that sense that they just managed to pull it off. Um, so I cannot floor that. But it's just very, very close and at times, you know, a couple of moments. Very risky film, but uh, one that has just pulled off for me, you know, massively. Because it's now, you know, right up there with um, the best Coen Brothers films for me. <clears throat> yeah, I think this is better than The Big Lebowski, actually, even. Which I already thought was a flawless masterpiece, really. Um, but yes, it's such a human film. And, 
you know, the plot and the characters just really just so compelling throughout. Um, it's a great soundtrack as well, I, I, I felt, and it was just wonderfully used throughout the film. Um, you know, and there's so many great sequences of comedy in this film, you know, the slapstick. Um, but they're not just, you know, they're not just scenes, as I say, they are sequences. Especially the one involving all the dogs and everything where he's getting chased kind of in the middle of the film. Um, that was just masterful. It was genius, really. It was so good. Um, and yeah, it's just so layered, all these sequences of comedy. You, you know, they're not just, <clears throat> it's not just the script. It is just so well designed, uh, you know, slapstick and everything. And um, manages to be very, very tense at the same time. Um, as I've said, this is a thriller. You know, and it's very hard sometimes to pull off, as I've said before in my past reviews, a thriller that is also a comedy, you know, because sometimes this comedy can lighten the thrill, and then the thriller can, thriller aspects can kind of make it more serious and not quite allow the comedy to come through. Luckily, it just is a mix of perfect, uh, you know, perfect uh, mix of both. And, uh, you know, there's so many great sequences of comedy in this film, it's just genius, but... You know, it's, it's, a, it's a narrative that really is just stunning and very, very affecting. One that has a lot of messages, very, very strong uh, messages, and um, such an affecting film, really. Um, and it's just thoroughly enjoyable, you know, hilarious film. A lot of the comedy, of course, comes from John Goodman's character um, and William Forsyth's. They, you know, they're basically his um, <coughs> cellmates that, that, that kind of break out of prison, um, and, you know, Nicolas Cage's... Um, cellmates and uh, they kind of they arrive at their house and stuff and it adds a lot of drama and conf conflicts with, with them and Holly Hunter and Nicolas Cage and stuff and their kind of relationship uh, and that is really funny but also you know it does it makes a lot of for a lot of drama and uh, you know one of the things that just drives us from the most is that romance I think it's just stunning the way it's designed very very um, you know layered and everything and one that's <coughs> very complex and has affected just you know, it's up and down throughout the film, you could say, but it's just beautiful, actually, the way it's portrayed. Um, and very, very moving, um, thoroughly moving romance in this film. <clears throat> I think Holly Hunter was great in this film, absolutely brilliant. Um, and Nicolas Cage as well, of course. Uh, the, the, we'll get to you as well, you know, the final act of this film is stunning. And um, actually, the last sort of five, ten minutes... Probably some of the best stuff I've seen in a long time. The ending of this film is actually one of the greatest for me. Didn't you know? I didn't quite think that it would it would top a couple of their endings, you know. But hands down, for me, the best Coen Brothers ending. You know, it actually tear inducing. It really was something that was just spiritual to to, to the max. Uh, it just I didn't expect it. You know, it hit me. Um, and you know, basically after the ending. You get this kind of thing uh, that comes after, like an epilogue or something, you could say. But yeah, the actual ending is just stunning. It's just so spiritual, it's so human. It brings all together, together all the, <clears throat> you know, the themes of the film per through perfectly, and um, just immensely powerful. Um, you know, stunning film. This is just a, a masterpiece, flawless masterpiece. You know, it's just stunning. As well, you know, the cinematography, as as I kind of said, it's just wonderful. Um, you know, the landscape shots and everything, and, um, you know, all the lens choices are great as well, you know, you've got a lot of kind of fisheye look to the film at times, and it distorted and stuff, and it, it's just all the right moments, but you've also got a lot of, you know, quite um, graceful shots, you know, out, uh, you know, in the exterior shots, um, and that's just a perfect contrast, you know, and um, <clears throat> it's a very, very surreal, that's what it does, it's a very surreal film, in the way it's shot, it, it kind of adds up to that, and the way it's edited as well. Very, very sharp. The Coen Brothers are in full control of this film, you know, and it just the way it's shot and edited is just masterful, you know, and it always creates an effect on the viewer. Um, just every act builds, uh, as always, with, with, with great films like this, and it just the way it comes together, though, is something that you don't, you wouldn't quite expect to be <clears throat> that perfect, that profound, really. It's such a spiritual ending, you know, I can't get over the ending, it's just. Wow, it's stunning, you know. Um, so overall, you know, I, I, I cannot fool this film. I think it's a, it's a definite masterpiece. It's actually made it into my 100% plus tiers. So it's better than The Big Lebowski. And um, <clears throat> probably, you know, this is now a contender for my favourite Coen Brothers film. It's that good. Um, I didn't expect that, you know, because 
they kind of set the bar with the two, top two films they made for me. Um, on some days, I think this could be, you know, it could be my favourite. It's that good. It means so much to me. You know, it just moved me throughout. You know, it made me laugh a lot. Of course, it's just a stunning comedy. You know, great side characters, but also a central kind of narrative that's just so um, unique and compelling. The romance is just a stunner, you know, and uh, all the performances and just the way it's written, the characters. Frances McDormand as well, she makes a great appearance, uh, really, really great. Um, and she's, of course, quite in a lot of Coen Brothers films. Fargo being her, her kind of finest um, in terms of her performance and stuff. But <clears throat> yes, you know, it just... This film is a true masterpiece. I think I'd have to give it 100% plus tier three. Um, I think it's, <clears throat> as I've said, you know, a contender for the greatest Coen Brothers film. Certainly my favourite, you know. Um, and just a, a film that really is, it is a fantasy film, but it's got rooted in, of course, very, very uh, powerful themes and, um, you know, emotions. Very, very emotional film for me personally. And, um, but one as well that's just highly, uh, great comedy and um, very, very light film at times, but then very, very dark as well and moving. You know, perfect balance, you know, between that comedy and, and everything else that comes with it, you know, and just... As I said, one of the best endings I've seen in a while. It really is. Um, so yeah, uh, Raisin Arizona really exceeded my expectations. Um, if you've not seen this film, um, you could be in for a treat. <clears throat> you know, if you, it depends on how you respond to the comedy, really, because the comedy does play into a lot of the drama at times. It just so happens that I find it to be perfect. You know, in that kind of, in that uh, blend. You know, if you if you if you think it's too over the top, then maybe you might not. But you know, just just watch it because it's yes, it can, I can understand how people, you know, may think. You know, it's sorry about the noise if you can hear that. Um, you know, if some people can can find it a bit too much, as I say, you know, if they can find it a bit too much, I can I can understand that because <clears throat> it is very 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 um, just on that line. For me, it just worked um, perfectly and. Um, I absolutely love this film, thoroughly moving, uh, certainly on my favourite films list, um, well into my top 200, that's all I'll say. Um, but yes, Raising Arizona, a masterpiece, flawless, um, a contender for the Coen Brothers best film for me. Um, so, thanks for watching, and um, next up will probably be my Sergio Leone ranking, because I have now decided on my films, you know, my, my ordering. And it's been tricky, but I think I have it. So. Thanks for watching my review.